Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again and we are going to go for a run as someone that we've played. I don't know. I don't know. I, did, I lost recently with like one mark off of Godhead, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, let's do Lilith and we'll try and do Mother. I mean, that's, I could have done Greedier mode, to be honest. We haven't done Greedier mode as Lilith, but I'll, I'll wait on that. Uh, we have seen the Champion Crown version of Lilith um, in the first episode I did of that. It is really cool. Um, but we'll just go with this version for right now. We do start with um, good old Child Leash and um, we've also got Blind Rage as well. Child Leash on this character is just an absolute must. Without it, the character is just no fun. <laughs> Lilith is one of the characters that I'm really not a big fan of just because of that weird like disconnect. Now I'm I do normally play with a mod on the um that is kind it's not really of my creation but of my concept. I don't have that on at the minute because I've just been reducing my amount of mods that I'm using due to trying to resolve lag issues. So at the minute we're just uh, using the extra starting trinkets rather than having it so that the uh, familiars all adopt tier effects, which I kind of would rather have on right now. But I kind of forgot I had it disabled until I decided to play this character. So. There. Now, I will say, I'm not in the best sorts to be recording Isaac right now. I recorded two episodes this morning, uh, the last two that you guys saw. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. baby, that makes me feel good. Um, but I we went out for food uh, with some friends, and I ate just an absolutely alarming amount of food. Um, and so I'm feeling very sluggish at the moment, like very, very sluggish. So we'll see how I go. We'll see how I go. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not particularly confident in my ability to not pass out and die, but eh, eh, we'll find out. Anyways, what's the, when was the last time you were overly full <laughs> and what was it on? What was you eating? I feel like that's a decent question to ask. Uh, we've got a second secret room here. Oop, 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 oop. Ah, bugger. I tried my best. <laughs> I tried my best. Ugh. Rooms like that are, are annoying. Bit spooky. A secret room there. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Ooh, hello, Chaos. Do you know, this might be the first time, maybe in my YouTube history, that I've ever had Chaos as my very first item. That's pretty fun. I like that. Uh, temperance, I guess I'll carry for now. Do you know what? Now I'll pop a temperance down. Um, one of them at least. I dropped a curse penny. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Um, yeah, this is the first time I think I've ever had chaos. It's my very first item. So this is kind of a unique first floor, really. Very unique indeed. Uh, we got that down. Keep that there for now. We've got a spare one as well if we want to use it. Uh, I guess I should blow all this up. This is going to be kind of a, a lengthy first floor. Just a bit of a lengthy first floor. But I'm curious to see how a fully chaos run ends up panning out for us here. This could be a lot of fun. This could this could create some real wacky stuff. I really shouldn't destroy this until after the room in case it wants a bunch of spiders, to be honest. Hey, there's our key for getting down to the next floor. I should check out my shop just in case there's something really good in there. Spider. Hopefully I managed to bomb it. No, I didn't. Okay. Get away, spider. Okay. Just the spider left now. Ugh. With Lilith, these things, spiders and stuff are so hard to goddamn kill. With uh, these sternies about. We got it. We got it in the end. Dude, that's a lot of spiders, my guy. Um... Both of these are shop items, so maybe Chaos hasn't taken effect yet. What the hell? I don't know what just happened there, but I accidentally bought that red heart. Not at all what my intentions were. Did not mean to do that. I don't know how I uh, managed that, really. I mean, it's fine. It's not like that big of a waste or anything like that, but <laughs> just wasn't wasn't all that intentional is all. I mean, we've, we've lost one penny, realistically. One single penny isn't that much to lose, really, in the grand scheme of things, is it? Yeah, I'm very, very curious to see what we get from our item room here. Oh, God. Dude, spiders are the worst, man. 
Marquise is lovely to see. Jesus Juice, not a bad starting item. Good, good, good. Not a bad starting item at all. A little bit of extra damage. Hell yes. We got enough money to buy an item, but both were actives. I do not want an active right now. I should just bomb you, really. I don't know why I'd even do anything other than just bombing you. I am obviously looking for a crawl space here. You don't always have one every floor, but there's a decent chance you get one. Right, what was in that um, in that other glass chest that I did manage to keep alive? Was there anything of no... Ooh, we did get one of these pennies, which gives us uh, slowing shots for a little while. Um, nah, three pennies is not worth a key. Not right now, at least. Okay, and we've got a few more rooms till the boss. Or one more room, should I say, until the boss. And we are unfortunately out of slowing liquid here. Uh, not a particularly big fan of, of this shebang. Oh god, these guys are gonna hit me. Yeah. Knew that was coming. Okay, I'm timing these bombs very incorrectly right now. There you go. Easy. Easy. And we do get ourselves some HP here, of which I will go back and lightly play. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fully play, but lightly play this machine a little bit. Um, and there is a sack in the thingy room as well, which I'll probably pick up. One. I'm, su I'm surprised I'm getting curse pennies out of these. I've not seen that before. Ooh, there you go. That's why I played wanted to play that a little bit more. Um Invoke the D7 effect. I guess technically I could do that in here and uh, see if I can get like a heart room reward to play this machine more. Or oh, I don't know, Marquisa bombs would be nice. Unfortunately not. Now, question is, do I want to double down on the temperance machines and bomb them both? I think I do. Yeah. I got a look penny out of that as well. Okay. Pretty happy with the with the the way that that first floor went. To be honest, we've come out of this with quite good stuff. Now I'm I'm just at the minute thinking that um, chaos didn't take any effect on this floor, uh, just because I mean I got Jesus juice from my item room, which is normal, I think, and I got dinner from my boss, which is normal, and the shop was both uh, shop items. So pretty sure that was all as it would normally be expected to go. Can't remember how the crocodiles exactly function, I'll be honest. He's, he's, he's slightly phasing through this block here, which. Not normal. Um, that's okay. But yeah, like, Chaos is always a lot of fun. It's, it's one of those items that I like. I think it can be a bit niche. You don't always want to take it, but whenever you do, it's, it's a fun time. Or it can be a fun time. I mean, Celestial Berry is a take for me. Other item would have been Red Stew. Red Stew, also not bad. Not bad at all. I'm pretty sure Secret Room is here. I am going to do a, a double check on the left here. So, Celestial Berry is going to give us Flight, Damage, and Tears for the room, as well as a very small permanent luck increase. I got an Eternal Heart from somewhere. I think I was, I'm guessing that's Celestial Berry that gave me that. But it's not imperative that we always take the, um, the Celestial Berry. If it's going to be damning to us or difficult... Okay, this guy's going to, I say, get that for us. Lovely. I'm going to try and bait him into getting a bomb down here. Yeah, there you go. I was pretty sure that was secret room, so it's kind of waiting for him to do that. Nice. We got Mr. Boom, which realistically isn't going to do much for us, but I suppose right now what we could do is um, slap a Mr. Boom there. Probably going to take a lot of pills here, but yeah. We'll slap Mr. Boom there, and we'll try and get some more charges for it, and blow up the rest of those, and we'll just have, like, an absolute pill bonanza. Aha, having flight in this room makes things a lot easier for us. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, but we'll, uh, we'll keep going with this. So I see a berry, give me that. Yeah, having flight's going to be super nice here. I mean, in this room, it's very, very nice, because I'm not affected by the water beneath us. Right. Back over this way. Thank God all of those have despawned. I've just got to remember that I don't permanently have flight. That's going to throw me off a lot. Um, and then we want to go four mushrooms over here. Fortunately, nothing there. We'll try and get one more charge out of this. I think it's worth it. 
We'll also check out the shop with Chaos. Uh, there could be all sorts of stuff in there. I think it's very much worth checking out. Um, we do have a guppy item in here, which realistically is probably worth buying. We also have a crawl space right here, which I think is probably a good shout. Um, yeah, we'll buy that. I'm going to use it once just to give ourselves some safety. We got ourselves a nickel there in which we'll uh, buy this. Because we've got an eternal heart is basically the reason I'm saying let's take this. Unfortunately, this is... Oh, I was going to say this is a really abysmal uh, thingy room, but we got an item spawned after killing stuff. So that was kind of cheeky of the game there to trick me. But rubber cement, I'm reasonably happy with. Certainly. Reasonably happy with indeed. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to get the uh, green key to get over there. Okay, it just spawns after the room is cleared. Fine by me. Extra key. Some red hearts. See, this is where the temperance machine would have been a good idea, but I, uh, I didn't do the best on that. Okay, so I think at this point we probably want to go back and pick up our box again. I don't think we're going to want to use this anymore. In fact, for this, for this lot, let's just use a real bomb. So I didn't get anything more there. Uh, let's let's take a gamble here. We've got so many pills. I'm drowsy's good to know. Puberty's good. Uh, telepills. Well, actually, um, unexpected. I wasn't planning on getting that. Um, I was uh, sorry. I wasn't planning on going into the care room. Is what I meant to say there. But I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Uh, realistically, well, like I said, I wouldn't have gone there otherwise. The telepills is rather nice here. Speed down's not so good. Health up's pretty good. Okay, overall I'd say that was pretty good. The telepills there, or that cost us a um, soul heart, I'd say was pretty valuable. Um, the double damage here, pretty good. And honestly, Yves Mascara used to be one of those things where it was so drastically terrible before. But now it's, it's pretty good. You can actually get past the tears down pretty quickly. Now, we did get an amnesia pill in there, I think. I, I swear we had mapping at the start of this floor, but maybe I'm wrong. I, I, I can't really remember, I'll be honest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, fuck you. I missed the berry. It's mainly for the stats. Like, the, the, the permanent look is nice, but the permanent look really doesn't make that much big of a difference. It's more about the stats for the room. I mean, obviously, flight as well is really nice. Now, the crocodiles are enemies I don't deal with often, so I don't really remember how they work, but they're not particularly that difficult. Dude, this game recently and golden bombs. It's been nuts. Oh, we already found the crawl space in this floor, so that's actually kind of pointless. I don't know where second secret room would be here. I'm very bad at judging the lineup for walls, so forgive me while I bomb literally everything um, and hope for the best. Second secret room is going to be a little bit difficult here, unless it's right here. It might be. It is right here. Okay, that saves that saves us some trouble. Uh, we'll destroy all these poops real quick. We are only on down... Yeah, Dross 1. Um, telepills and Telepills. I don't know what either of these are, so we'll take them. Laxative's fine. Range up's good. Telepills I don't think we're going to use, really. Um, I don't think there's any point. Alright, let's grab that. The tear rate up is the main thing we want with these mascara, really. Yes. Okay, we didn't enter him into a thingy phase straight away. That's nice. Okay, he didn't do what I thought he was going to do there, so I missed out a little bit, but it's mostly fine. I'm going to try and stick over here, then he'll just pop up quicker. But he should be jumping out the wall any second now. There you go. That was nice and easy. We only got hit once. We did unfortunately get an active, which I was expecting. Obviously, we're going to go Angel Deal because there's no point paying for Devil Deal items. Plum Flu is, of course, a little bit of a tragedy for us. Um, we, we definitely don't want that. But to the next floor, and I, yeah, I'm, I'm really in love with uh, with the, the, how this run's going right now. The chaos of it all is just very fun. Very fun indeed. And we did get Boiler. Very nice. Do you like Boiler? Ooh. Did we get a Cambion Conception play and get a second second little friend? I I think because of all the Temperance playing, which I didn't consider for Cambion Conception. Oh dude, that was this is kind of brutal this room here. I don't I don't I don't much feel 
of this. Um, what? Can someone explain? That was definitely an incubus a moment ago, right? That was... That was definitely an incubus like a second ago, right? I'm not going crazy. I think I might be going crazy. What, what, what the hell just happened? I swear. I swear that was an incubus like just a second ago. I need more speed to get to that quicker. I mean, it's nice that we've got this, but yeah, this isn't what I was expecting at all. Ooh, hello. These chests are dangerous uh, in terms of the amount of HP they can require, but they're very useful. Blind Rage is making it a little hard to open, to be honest. Um, play this as well. I'm doing this for cameo conception at this point. I'm going to have to come back to that one. Surleon of Apollyon, obviously we'll just use. Strength is kind of good to just hold. I'll take the cracked key for now, though. Um, it's unlikely to be here, but I'm just going to try it. Yeah, it wasn't, unfortunately. I'm really confused. Is that something to do with chaos? I just don't know anymore. God damn, this chest is taking a lot of HP to open. Normally those chests only take a few... A few hits to open. Poker chip, no thanks. I think Blind Rage is really doing us a good bit of work right now, so I'm going to stick with that. I'm really confused right now. Like, overly confused. <laughs> ah, bugger. I need to not prioritize the, um... The thingy so much. I'm, I'm, I'm sacrificing my, my well-being in order to try and get this flight that realistically only exists. Is, is a, the only reason to grab it is to try and prevent more damage, so there's no point taking damage to grab it. This guy is the same enemy, but tiny, I think. I think he's just a champion. Oh, God. Ah, see, that, see that's the room that we're, where we want it. We want to make sure if there's a room where there's a potential of a gap or something that we take it straight away. Oh, my God. Rubber Cement doing some good work there. Right, let's just go in here and do this now. Definitely grab that. Okay, well, he died very, very quickly. Now, I don't really know what you do. Definitely spread a lot of tears about, and you're very hard to hit. But you are particularly not that bad. Um... Unfortunately, yet again, we did get another active item that is just going to be the way of chaos sometimes. Uh, we did get Parasite out of this, though, which I'm pretty happy with. And I might as well take this for the um, extra eternal heart chance. But I do I do very much like Parasite, especially with Rubber Cement. Parasite-Rubber Cement is a pretty fun combo that you don't see super often. I mean, it is also a potentially laggy combo, too. But we'll ignore that part of things. And we'll just focus on the fact that it's fun. <laughs> How about that? Hey, that was a pretty good room reward. Okay, so we've still got shop and item room to take a look at. We have another red heart available, which I'm very happy about, because I think we'll get a payout from that chest at this point. Um, and honestly, the more we're able to hit ourselves um, and get Cambion Conception players, the better. Some good stuff. I'm liking the way Chaos has treated us so far. Apart from some of the obvious downsides, it's been pretty good. Uh, so I, I will take a d6 and try and re-roll here. Um, not the best way to do this without taking damage. Okay, there you go. <sighs> that is another book. Do I just take the random though? I think I just take the random and herp. Hey, another guppy item. And it's more familiars too. Second guppy item this early is pretty good though. A, and we get time itself there as well, which I'll most certainly take. And let's go and give the rest of our hearts here. And then we've got to uh, do our thingy room, obviously, our fire and stuff. Right.
I, I was just about to say, this thing should be pretty close to opening. Ooh, hello. Some hell hooks there, lovely. Pretty fly. Things have been going pretty well in that front so far. Right, okay, so now we want to go into our mirror room. So let's just grab the fire over here. I, the, I'm not doing the boss again because I'm not particularly confident. In fact, I'm, I'm not very confident on this part itself, to be honest, because uh, we've got a reasonable distance to travel in the mirror realm. And I'm not particularly confident with my setup. Ooh, okay, so... Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but it, it, it generated an obscene amount of lag. Um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what the cause of that was. Now, I'm curious as to why I no longer have any mapping. I'm wondering if it was time itself plus Parasite that created that lag, or if it was a specific enemy interaction. I'm really not sure. Doing all right. We're doing okay. Keeping more money for the shops is very valuable for us. We'll keep on doing that. Okay, it seems to be a specific enemy interaction with Parasite there, because it seems fine now. Range up again. Our range has re reached a pretty good point. I really have no clue if we're heading in the right direction at all here. We're getting more room rewards as a result, I guess, so... Uh... Not a particularly bad thing. Okay, it seems to be when I fire over rocks that it's going to be slightly problematic. So let's try and avoid that. Okay, it's tiny boy again over here. And then these guys are all going to spew. That was close. I think this is boss. So yeah, we have come, unfortunately come the wrong way here. My bad. But it's kind of worked out for us. Like I said, I'm not going to do the boss again because I'm just not confident in the boss whatsoever. I think item room is this way. So yeah, I've kind of messed up a little bit here in my direction. Right, out and back in just to reset that. All right, we got what we came for. Let's get the hell out of here before we do anything more to unnecessarily put ourselves in harm's way. But I actually think that was a pretty good floor, to be honest. We, we gained a good amount there. Strength card, I'll keep on us for now. Health is good stuff as well. Keep... I, I really need uh, an item that gives me permanent flight, because the Celestial Berry is confusing my mind. Um, I keep thinking I have flight, and it's going to get me into some sticky situations if I'm not careful. But the scariest part of the run is now out of the way. Part of the run that could get us permanently killed e uh, easily is now is now gone. Oh, this is... I'm going to step away from this and, and destroy all of these before I uh, cause myself undue harm. Okay, go. I'm pretty happy with our setup, though. I think Chaos has really leaned itself uh, towards our favor and given us some good stuff. Um, we've got some interesting familiars going on. I don't know what these guys do. Kind of interesting. I expect them to be brimstone, not electricity, but... Certainly don't mind. In fact, I should just use my axe here. I think I've got a Hierophant card here, so I don't really mind taking a bit of damage there. Strength. Yeah, here a font here, nice. Speed down, we'll take the unidentified pill. It's unfortunately a range down, we had so many range ups that I just can't be mad at that. Time itself is doing some good stuff. Time itself basically makes any enemy into a multi-dimensional baby, which is pretty nice. Um, we do do half thingy here by going in. Might as well do that. I don't know what that pill is at the moment, so let's not take that yet. That's Telepills. Oh, can Telepills out of here? Although Telepills is a little risky, I might not do that. Uh, 
Again, I'm just doing this mainly for the thingy players. I've, I've gained a little brimstone, boy. Come on, my guy. You can pay out. With an item. Hey, oh dude, 2020. I'm so glad I uh, used that thingy strength card there. I'm gonna telepills and risk it. Yeah, okay, that wasn't too risky, luckily. Right. 2020 was a, a beautiful game there. Wasn't expecting something quite so lovely, but chaos sometimes, sometimes knows what's up. Sometimes chaos knows how to get business done. How did you survive all of that, my guy? Come on now. Taking a lot of unnecessary damage right now, but it's not particularly harmful to us. We'll be fine, regardless. Um, I'll buy that at least. Do I want to buy... Yeah, it's a familiar. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Okay. <laughs> my, uh, my little Abaddon kind of screwed me there. Joker card. Look, Penny's lovely as well. Okay, Joker card I'm very intrigued by. Thank you. But n now we're at the point where doubling our familiars is actually insanely advantageous. We have so many. This has become a true familiar. Now this is this is where having familiars adopting our tier effects would be pretty nutty. This run's already very good even without that. So another telepills. Telepills are kind of all over the place right now. Grab that bomb real quick. Where be our item room? I want to see what that holds for us. What dirty tricks lie in wait. I'm really liking our range plus rubber cement and the parasite and like time itself. Just basically we shoot an enemy and just like shots sort of expand from them and coat the room. It's, it's pretty fun. There's another room that's probably worth duplicating everyone in. I think we've got a soy boy down here somewhere. That we do. Fortunately, we're taking random. Bless the dead. Prevents curses from appearing for the rest of the run. Preventing a curse gives you damage. Wow. That's very good. <laughs> Not only is it like Black Candle, but it gives us damage per curse prevented. Now, I didn't realize there that I'd be um, using up all my keys. Hmm. This is a tricky room. We'll come back to that one because we currently don't have the red hearts to really make that super viable, which is a little annoying. I would like much more red HP right now. We haven't seen secret rooms on these floors, and we do have 10 bombs, so the more we can do in that regard. Don't know what pill this is. How is there still pills we haven't taken yet? Come on now. Shot speed down. We just don't care about our shot speed. is already at the lowest it can be. Secret room, you say. What are we looking at for secret room? Very plausibly here. Let me just check this other room around here. I'm fairly sure it's here based on that wall. Well, let's check here as well. Yeah, it's almost definitely here. Yeah. Okay. Blind Rage, you've been good to us, but Curved Horn, just a bit better. And in fact, just in case, just in case something amazing comes out of these two, let's have this guy smelt these together and see. Yeah, duct tape. I mean, duct tape's actually not bad. <laughs> like... Duct tape's actually not bad. 
Uh, right, okay, let's go do our boss, and then we'll, we'll sort of figure out what we're doing with the rest of the floor, because there's certainly things we can do, but a lot of them we need more red health for. I just want to quickly check as well. There's two things I want to do. So one of them is I want to come in here and just see. Yeah, so I think red heart for sale here is worth it. And I think I'm going to bomb this machine as well. I was hoping for some red hearts out of that. Fortunately, didn't get it. It's fine. Getting a red heart there is good. Second secret room could be here, maybe. Unfortunately not. Um, not really sure where else it could be. There's obviously a ton of other places it could be, but none of them jump out to me yet. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Let's do the boss and just see how things look after that. Get our berry, of course. <laughs> look at this. Oh my god, it's crazy. And we have a Yera rune in the bottom right there. So if we get any red hearts, we make sure to blow up that after the fact. Make sure not to pick up any of them up. We get a soul heart. We got tech point five as well. Awesome. Ooh, we can drop our Joker card real quick. And duplicate that. Although, I don't think there was any point to that, actually. Because I've already got my angel deal right here. So, eh. Mr. Dolly's good stuff. In fact, Mr. Dolly, I'd be pretty happy if he gave me mostly red hearts here. There you go. That's actually a pretty good uh, division. Tech point five is really good here because uh, it works very well with Parasite. There we go. This is just an absolutely amazing run. <laughs> right, now we've got a lot more red hearts. We can go back over. This feels like a very min maxi run, but I'm enjoying it. I really am. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back over to that, um, I forget what those rooms are called. The double key rooms. Can't remember the name from, the, the, they're called vaults, I think, is it? Is it a vault? I think it's vault. But it's got one of these spire chests in it, which are actually really rare. I'm surprised we've seen two in one run, these chests. What is going on right now? Okay. This room was god tier. <laughs> this room was absolutely insane. Okay, so we now have Holy Mantle, which uh pretty pretty good going. Uh gotta say. Um I am gonna wait a minute. Mm, I was gonna telepills, but I don't know where I need to. No, I can I... Yeah, I can telepills, I think. Nah, I'm not gonna just in case. I don't know where Erin would take me right now. I think it would just take me to the next level of mines, but I'm actually not sure. I'm not going to take that risk. Right, come my absolute chain of familiars. God damn. Right, we, so we've got double joker card here. Unfortunately, we don't need the second one. It was a cool idea, but didn't work out. That's why I love these rocks. Those rocks are so cool. Hey, we got protected from a curse and we gained damage for it. Beautiful stuff. This room is disgusting. Don't care if I have another puberty pill, to be honest. Don't even know why I'm doing this. I don't need to open up that yellow thing. I'm stupid. And this might be, like, one of the better Chaos runs I've seen. Like, obviously, there's, there's ones where you just get, like, Sacred Heart right off the bat or something. But starting out with, with Chaos and it actually working out is a rarity. Okay, this, is, this, this room's a little bit fucked. There's a Holy Mantle gone. Okay. That's fine. Fair enough. I mean, the money's actually pretty good. The money's actually pretty good. Hey, we got one of these rocks here as well. Let's uh, check that out. Cracked key. Don't know where I'm going to use that yet. Why didn't I pick up this red heart? Yeah. Let, me, uh, let me see where I'm going to use this cracked key. I'm not entirely sure thus far. Obviously, we've got Holy Mantle, so these are free to enter now. Flight off. Flight on no flight. Crack key's not going to be activated in there. I'm not going to do the boss yet. I want to figure out where this crack key is going to be best used so far.
at the minute. Not really com so convinced. Uh, I will pop this world card real quick. It just saves us on finding the secret room. Unless we've already found it, I can't remember. Check out what we've got going on here. It's unlikely to be off of any of these, isn't it? So I'm not going to bother with this. Uh, mystery sack, it's reasonably worthwhile. We'll check what this is. The fool. Eh. Fool can be good. Cracked key. Yeah, let's do cracked key there because it lets us get into boss trap room for free. So it's got multi multi use. Hey, actually gave us it as well. Beautiful. The twofer. Soap box. I mean, plus range is actually not bad. I'll take plus range. Oh god. I accidentally hit Tough Twins without uh, having blown any of his segments up. The game was not a fan of that. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> We're so powerful. This is nuts. I would like some more speed, but I feel like it's been a little bit petty. I feel like I can't really ask for too much at this point. The game has been giving me everything I could have possibly wanted. We do get a bit of cat and nine tails in here. I'm pretty happy to see it. Not a red item, obviously, but do we give a damn? No, we do not. Black heart there. I guess I'll blow both of you up. I don't really need the bombs for anything else. Why not? Angel chance is nice. Extra money could be useful. I mean, we could get an absolutely stacked shop. You never know. Go check out this secret room over here. And of course, our item room could end up being good. Ooh, hoo, hoo, okay. Okay. You give me a free smell and filigree feather. Well, I said free, you know what I mean. Dude, <laughs> this game right now is, uh... It's sending us some signs, my guy. It's sending us some signs. This is tricky, because Star Whistle's really good. But it requires a key to open, it requires money to buy, so I'm not going to take it for now. Bag of Trash is another familiar, so fine by me. It fits the aesthetic. Double bombs there. We'll just go straight for the boss now, I'm not bothered about that extra room. Okay, but yeah. Filigree Feather here obviously isn't going to give us angel items if we do kill an angel, but it is still going to give us items, so it's still pretty good. I mean, what have we got for my angel deals thus far? We got Parasite and Mr. Dolly. I'd say our angel deals have been pretty good, considering the fact that neither are actually angel items. Okay, flight in here is very, very nice. Yeah, you're fucked. Oh, dude, I shot him again. Fuck. <laughs> it's going to lag our game out. Time itself is and uh, Parasite is just like looping over each other again and again and again in like this endless stream I've got to fully kill him before I shoot again like f fully de-rock him is what I mean there you go otherwise things are going to get real wild real quick blue map's a very good boss item to get here don't mind that at all um, and we are we are good to go right We've, we are good to go yeah Mag out. This this run is something else. I love the fact that you can still get the uh, the berry even after the room has been completed. You can still get that luck increase. It's like I said, it's not it's not a big luck increase or anything, but it does add up. Ooh, one room to reroll everything. I am going to say no to that, thank you, because uh, we are just loving life right now. Holy shit. Whipworm's actually pretty good considering we've got really low shot speed right now. Don't mind Whipworm. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. Okay. Oh, missed you, Brimstoning there. Cheeky chappy. Ooh, what's this? Plus one black heart cripples all the enemies in the room. Okay, 3D glasses might be might be one of those items I have to remove later down the line. Because I think it's one that with like parasite can cause insane lag. I can't remember, but it feels like I th I have like remnants of a memory of it absolutely lagging the hell out of my game, so. We shall see if that's the case. Okay. It's pretty... It's pretty awesome. I'll take Bloody Lust. Reasonably happy with that. Tinted Rock there. We got breakfast. Don't actually know how we got breakfast, because Small Rock isn't affected by chaos, so... Little bit confused by that. We got the Black Hammer. Unfortunately, not anything we really need. I don't know what is going on with the lasers from 3D glasses, but... Tech Point 5 plus this seems to have some effect on the game. I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna worry. I ain't sad about it. Item Rim Chop have been seen to... It just keeps going, man. Brady glasses is, is not broken at all. It's completely fine. Maggie's burr. Pretty good. Mum's contact. Pretty good. <laughs> this is so silly. Oh, what? Okay, no, it did give us one nice. Jet feather we don't care for. Dead weight. Throwable forgotten body familiar. Shoots burns upwards. Uh, I guess I'll take it. Oh wait, there's two of them? Oh no, okay, just visual bug. Uh, grants an extra life on death, player will spawn with some of their items replaced with TM Trainer. I mean, it's a it's a respawn, so why not just take it? Right. Am I always going to pick that up at the start of every room? Because if so, I'm not a big fan of that. I think we're just good to go on this floor. Yeah, 3D glasses is definitely... Created a new era of this already very broken run. Okay, yeah. Um, remove dead weight. Interesting item, but for this run, I don't want to be able to not shoot when entering a room. I want to be able to just shoot my shot and do my thing. It's dead weight is just going to slow me down massively. I'd rather just remove it. You're going to see the exact same result with dead weight, just slower. Yeah, thank God I got flight here. It makes this room a lot more simple. We do have a tainted treasure room here. Oh no, I lost my holy mantle. Okay. Tainted treasure room. What could you be trading here? I mean... Nothing. There's just glitter bombs in here. Apparently this item also gets chaos Fine by me. Honestly, I can't believe how, like, influential rubber cement has been on this run. Nice. Interesting room here. Oh, this is one of my secret rooms. Hello. Ah! Oh. Smart. Okay. This is one of my rooms where you can drop all of your shit to, like, donate more. Kind of an interesting room. Um, at this point, I am going to donate down to, like, 15 cents. Okay. Or, or as much as it'll let me. Yeah. The glasses sometimes just don't proc under the times they're like, okay, it's time to go. Time to go crazy and never stop. Right, we still gotta find item room and shop here, so we need an additional key actually. I didn't realise we're one key off of that 
being plausible at the moment. At the minute, I'm literally, like, trying to fire as few tiers as I possibly can to make sure the rooms don't get, like, too overwhelming. Oh, there's another key. Lovely. Yeah, because otherwise the rooms are getting a bit crazy. I think there's a double key in the other room as well that I haven't seen yet. Like, I don't know why it happened that time. It seems to be if 3D glasses procs on a Tech Point 5 shot, the game just loses its shit. <laughs> the game just goes absolutely nuts. And it just doesn't stop for the rest of the room, so... You've just got to kind of roll with the punches. I'm sorry, my fella. Okay. I kind of like it when, like, runs go like this, where you min-max and min-max and min-max. It just gets to the point where you just can't. The run's too crazy to even bother min-maxing. Aha, I got the flight and made that a lot easier for myself. Sun is obviously something we'll carry uh, for the mother fight as a just-in-case, but can't believe I'll need it. I mean, just this absolute colour blast whenever we enter a room. It's pretty gnarly. I don't think the, the boss is going to be lasting after that. Got to remember as well that I've got uh, my box of friends which I've just not been using currently. Right. Spirit of Denial. Look down, grant some unity to curse the blind, reveal the blind item pedestals in the alt path treasure rooms. Once per room spawns a denial dice consumable that can be used to reroll one item, pick up or slot machine in the room, but only in that room. Yeah, why not? Why not? And the shop, what will you hold for us? <gasps> Sculpting clay. Ho oh, ho ho. Um Sculpting clay is good, but just I can't take it. So I'll take Bleeding Heart instead. Good stuff. Good reroll. Right. We are Gonzo. Yeah, I think that uh Denial's dice is pretty strong. The fact that you get one of those every room is uh is pretty spicy. Is it literally every room? God damn. Yeah, that's pretty spicy. I don't think it stays there, though. I think I think once you leave the room and come back. Like, for example, let's try this. Yeah. Okay. This might be bugged. I don't think it's meant to be that, like, do they just constantly spawn like this? Hmm. Anyhow. It don't matter anymore. Imagine Lump of Coal with this too. That's something we should throw in the mix. Right. Oh come on now, knife. You know you know that you hit the wall there. Don't be a don't be a dick. But first I was already got hit there, and I was like, wait, it doesn't matter if I get hit. Anyhow, yeah, the denial dice may be a little bit busted at the moment, but eh. Right, we've got protected from our curse here as well, lovely stuff. Don't think I'm going to want to use you. I was just about to say, I don't even know if a bomb will actually stay where I want to stay right now, so let's uh, do another room first. That was one shot fired, by the way. That was a single shot fired. Oh, dude, charmed enemies now fire all of our tears, too. This is... It's gonna get real wacky. Alright, hold up a minute, game. Hold up. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. No denial dice in this room. What the hell? Could have been an item in here. Oh no, there you go. Spawns at the end of the room, I see. Good old crawl space. Ooh, hello. Not only a crawl space, but a black market too. Um, unfortunately, this is kind of terrible. 
I guess I'll take that and I'll take Joyful as well for that double damage chance. I could just skip this floor to be honest. Wouldn't make much of a difference. Uh, I'm going to quickly go up here before I do and grab this and this one I am going to have to bomb out but not that big of a harm to us, don't you dare. Okay, right, let's just skip this floor. We'll get, we're, we're skipping a potential item room and angel deal, but I don't think we're going to need it, let's be honest. Hey, the protection, dude, this is nice. I'm liking this. Oh my lord. I'm almost definitely going the right way here. Let me out. There you go. <laughs> I just fire once and it just creates this absolute spider web of shots. It's amazing. I mean, the shot has to hit an enemy. There you go. Look, one single shot hit an enemy and it creates all of that mess. I love it. Like I said, rubber cement just exacerbates how crazy this is because the tears stay around. And then obviously the fact that we've got really high range as well helps. Yeah, I don't think time itself was ever like considered with parasite and rubber cement in mind sort of thing. We do have a spin down here, which, eh, probably isn't that valuable, actually. I don't think we're going to see another item here. Eh, let me out. Some good old troll bombs. I'm guessing we're down this way. Okay. I don't know why the lasers don't happen every single time, either. The lasers seem wildly inconsistent. Like I said, it must be something to do with 3D glasses procking on... A tech point five shot, which of course doesn't happen every time I shoot. It must be something to do with that. You have to be the way that you are, man. How long is this run? We're on 52 minutes. I, feel, I guess I could feel it was getting to near an hour. The slight lag is making things take a little longer. Hey, it's Leechy, buddy. Um, not quite sure what happened there. Dad's... Ooh, Dad's Dice. Oh, ho, ho. Dad's Dice is kind of intriguing. For the trade of some speed, we can use our active a lot more times in the boss fight, which I very much like the idea of. Dude, his troll bomb just piss off and blow up already. Unfortunately, we never got Guppy. I was really expecting we would have got Guppy on this run, but it doesn't always happen. Oh my lord, that enemy just bursted into colours. Taste the rainbow, my god. Right, so I think I can I can do this. Watch, I go boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we get 0.29 speed, which we don't really need speed in here. I really should have exited and continued before this because a crash is imminent right now. Really should have thought about that <laughs> before I did this. Okay, I mean, that kill was fast. We'll leave it be for now. Are my lasers just going to kill him real fast or I need to shoot again? Okay, my lasers are going to kill him pretty fast. I will shoot again, though, just because it's funny. 
What is the noise you are making now, good sir? Oh, dude, this was... This was beautiful. <laughs> it's like the best run ever. Chaos just absolutely clutched everything. I mean, that was a very lucky run as well. It was a very, very fun run. Very good first floor. I'm very pleased. There's Mother Lilith, done and dusted. I like to see it. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.